Welcome back to the Reload Bench. Recently I was talking with a friend about shooting interviews at different events. For example, say like a gun show or a trade show or a Second Amendment rally. In particular, shooting interviews with vendors or distributors, manufacturers of different products. And he reminded me of a video he did years ago at the Wanamaker Gun Show where he interviewed a company that makes products, they, they do metalworking. They're veteran owned and they're based out of Ohio. And I, at the time I had watched that video, but I forgot all about it. So I went back and watched it and it kind of got me interested. Then I followed up by watching another friend's video. He was with him at the show at the time and he made his own video where he demonstrated how to install one of these products. And that kind of kind of got me interested enough to go onto the website and check them out. Now this company specializes in Glock slide back plates and Glock magazine base plates. And I don't have a Glock and I'm really not a, a Glock tart or anything else like that. So I wasn't really sure what to expect. But in looking around the website, I did find some other interesting items. And if you're looking for a gift item to give to somebody who's maybe pro Second Amendment, you want to support an American company, and you don't necessarily want to break the bank, I think they've got some options. So I just ordered a couple things to give out as gifts, and I thought I would do an unboxing in this video here so you can see what to expect if you place an order with this company. And just to show you these items, just to give you an idea in case maybe you've got that person that's kind of hard to buy for and you want to get them something, I think you might like what I've got here. So let's get to the unboxing. So what I have here are a few items I ordered from a company called Millspin out of Columbus, Ohio. Now, what seems to be a cardboard rectangular box is packaged inside of a white mylar shipping bag. It's packaged really kind of tight. If I shake it, you can tell there's definitely metal in there. I paid $7 to ship this and it was just a few small items. It took a little bit less than a week to get here, but I'm only one state over. So let's just see what's in the package. I'll go ahead and take the buck knife and I'll cut the envelope lengthwise along the, the side of this cardboard box here. Just see. I uh, recently sharpened the knife with this knife sharpener New York Outcast sent me, so thanks Outcast. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. All right, so there's a flat cardboard envelope here. Let's see. There's a little tab here at the top to pull. Let's take that off and open it up. All right. This is great. These are some stickers with the Millspin Company logo on here. I had asked them, and I believe there's a little comment box down at the bottom when you place the order, if they could include some, some swag for me to give away to some people. Now, onto the items I purchased that were stickers. I kind of like the way they've got this in this flat envelope here. I mean, this is some, you know, fairly decent, uh, you know, de decent thickness of cardboard here. This has definitely protected them. So, we've got this one here that says, Whiskey Tango Fox, Whiskey Whiskey, just fucking whiskey, mill spin. Now, those of you who might not know the phonetic alphabet, Wh Whiskey Tango Foxtrot is is the phonetic alphabet for WTF, or what the fuck. So I kind of thought this sticker was kind of interesting, uh, so I decided to get it because I'm a whiskey kind of guy. Now, the picture kind of made it look bigger than this, and I don't remember if the description said uh, the actual size. Let me look here on the packing, or the um, the order confirmation they sent me. Did it put, show a size? No, it didn't. It, it just uh, It's just a WTF decal. But I, I kind of thought it would be a little bit bigger, but actually this is... Um, this is a little bit uh, bigger than the size of a, a deck of cards, so it's really about the right size if you wanted to have a, a decal like this to put on your safe or something else like that. Now the other one here I got for somebody. This is the Statue of Liberty holding up uh, an AR with an M203. I mean, it could be an M16, but uh, the the grip and the stock. No, those are, that's a mil uh, that's a mil spec stock. That's a collapsible stock on there with a 30 round mag. So really, it's, yeah, it's an M16 with an M203, and it's the Statue of Liberty holding that up in place of the torch that's in her right hand. So uh, this this sticker is a little bit bigger than the WTF sticker. This one is uh, 
trying to think of what I could compare it to uh, size-wise. Maybe two decks of cards uh, next to each other. So that's a fairly good size sticker there. Now, let's see what's in the box here. So it comes in a white box that's about the size of a lower receiver box if you've just ever ordered a bare lower receiver. It's uh, white and it's got the Millspin Manufacturing Company logo. Manufacturing American Greatness, 1776. So let's go ahead and open this up here. Oh, look at this. On the back, we've got the Constitution. Yeah, let's see. Article 1... It's just uh, it's just kind of like the, the heading of the Constitution here with the preamble. So the whole we the people and whatnot. Let me go ahead and open this up. So inside is a packing slip. Yeah, it's just a smaller version of the slip that I printed off of the email confirmation. Now we get to the main thing that I purchased here. Check this out. It's in a uh, rectangular reclosable bag. Look at that. AK bottle opener. So, it's a, an AK with a 30 round mag uh, in a fairly thick piece of metal that looks like it's been powder coated in black perhaps or painted in black. And it's the silhouette of an AK but the stock is cut out with a groove here that should make a good bottle opener. So I got one for me and one for somebody else. And underneath they've got a flap here I can move out of the way. Here, get the box out of here. They've got coins, and these coins are kind of interesting here. You see, here's one, or did I did I get all the same ones? Uh, okay, yeah, I got uh, two of one and one of another. So this is the zero fucks given coin, and it's got a big zero on there with uh, fucks uh, stamped over top of it. And then the bottom it says uh, zero fucks, at the top it says mill, mill spend company. On the back it's kind of got the, uh, the same... Uh, U.S. seal with the uh, eagle with the the arrows and the and the um, I'm guessing that's an olive branch there and it says Millspin at the top and then it says American Metal Company at the bottom. So these coins are about the size of a silver dollar, but they're obviously not made out of silver. The other two they're the same. This is the fuck you coin and it kind of has like a, a little bit of a waving American flag underneath it. And uh, these are packaged up the same way you would get like a silver collectible coin. It's in a, a clear plastic, uh, kind of like a, a two, two pocket flap here. And uh, on the other side, there's a cardboard card that says mill spin. And on the back, it says manufacturing greatness. Now, on the front of the coin where it says fuck you in big letters, it also has the middle finger above it. And you might think that that is, uh, uh, you know, enough to grab somebody's attention. But I really think that on the back side of the coin, as I flip this clear envelope around, the back side really has uh, more character to it. It kind of, uh, it's just got a lot more going on here. If you look here on the back side of the coin, it's got the silhouette of the Statue of Liberty in the center with kind of like these rays going out, just these notches that are like rays going out. At the bottom it says millspin.com, but if you follow the top round border of the coin, it says, I won't do what you tell me. And then in small print next to the Statue of Liberty, it says, goeth and fucketh thyself. So <laughs> uh, I think the message is quite clear there. So these are just some interesting items you can get here from Millspin. Dot com that aren't that expensive and are really just kind of interesting, especially if you're just looking for a small gift item to give somebody. I almost thought I was done with the video, but I think I should really test out this AK Silhouette bottle opener. I mean, it's an unboxing video and it, that's good by itself, but why not evaluate the product while I'm right here on camera? Now, if you go to the Millspin website and you look at a picture they have of this bottle opener, it's actually in front of a bottle of Yingling Lager. And we like Yingling in this house. I don't have any lager, but I do have some Yingling Golden. So let's just see how well this bottle opener works. I'll just hook the cap here and... What do you know? just in time for the heat to kick on and make some background noise, but that's fine. So, I've proven that the bottle opener works. You know, I try to go to lengths for my audience just to make sure that 
I, I practice what I preach. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this Yingling Golden Pilsner. And I would absolutely recommend Millspin if you're out shopping around for somebody, maybe somebody Pro 2A, you're looking for a small gift item to give them. You're looking for something that, you know, maybe they're kind of hard to shop for and, and you want something that kind of fits the bill. They offer more than just Glock parts at Millspin. So give them a look. I'll include a link to their website in the description section. And thanks for watching.